zipping through the streets of Gotham. Here's your look at the new Spin Master, the Batman, exclusive Batman and Bat Cycle. The exclusive Wingsuit Batman Bat Cycle Pack is a must-have for Batman fans, only available at Walmart. Protect Gotham City with the 4-inch Batman figure and race into action on the Batman Bat Cycle, featuring authentic movie-style sculpting that will bring your Batman adventures to life. You and I both know, before of course we get a closer look at Batman as a set of wheels, the first thing we will want to do is figure out how tall the figure stands. Sidestepping myself though for a second, first though, before we do anything, I'd like to also thank the folks over at Spin Master, who made this review possible by sending over Batman in the Bat Cycle, which if you are interested to pick up one for yourself, find your way over to the nearest Walmart, as it's an exclusive over there. Now let's go ahead and grab the ruler. These figures are supposed to be about four inches in height, and that's about right. Batman is four and a quarter inches tall, or about almost 11 centimeters tall. And then just to figure out how long the bat cycle is, we're going to go from the back of the wheel to the front of the wheel. And that gives us a vehicle that's about seven and a half inches in length, or roughly about, I guess, 18 and a half centimeters long. Batman doesn't do too bad in the accessory department, as he does get a pair of batarangs and also his grapple gun, all of which can actually be held in the figure's hands. First of all, let's have a look at the batarangs here, and you get two of these. They're decently detailed, really, for their size. It doesn't look like there's a lot of paint on them. In fact, if anything, it looks like they've just been molded in black plastic. And that's fine. It gets the job done. As mentioned, though, you can take them and fit them into his hand, times two, really, because, again, he does co come with two batarangs. The batterings, to be fair, are a little more difficult to get into his hands because it seems like the grip is just not as wide. I would say probably the best bet, the best practice to getting these in his hands are probably just starting with the point and then sort of just navigating it down his hands. Though looking a little on the stranger's side, at least, yeah, he can hold both batterings in his hand. The figure also comes included with his grapple gun. Uh, the grapple gun here, as you can see, has been molded in a very, very bright, almost orangey red and detail on it is quite nice. It doesn't have any functioning mechanisms to it, but it still does, again, gets the job done. Very nicely detailed grapple gun. And like the other two batarangs we looked at earlier, of course, that can also fit into his hand. If you're having any difficult time, you can also heat the hands a little bit in hot water. You can see if you just kind of put it in onto the side, it's more than enough to actually get Batman to hold the grapple gun. And it gives him a nice bright grappling line that you can actually fire off. And even though it doesn't function, at least it's nice that they include it as an accessory. There isn't any storage, by the way, on the figure where you can store the batarangs and the said grapple gun. So either you can choose to, for yourself to display it with the figure or just leave it off for the time being. The other interesting thing about this particular figure is it's the wingsuit. And how it serves as the wingsuit is if you look at the back of the cape here. The cape, by the way, is sort of more of a papery material cape. It's, it's decent. I mean, it does show wrinkles a little bit more, but at least, again, it's a nice looking cape. But it does have all these little clips on the sides, clips on the corners that clip onto the arms. And there's also clips down below that clip onto the lower legs. So if you did want to have him with the wingsuit, you simply just bring his arms out. And you can also somewhat bring his legs out, too. You take the bottom clips and you clip them onto his ankles. There's one. Do the same thing on the other side, just repeating the same steps, clipping that in place. And then you're going to do the exact same thing then with the arms. The arms actually work better if you have them actually clipped closer more to his wrists than his forearms. And then we'll do the exact same thing on this side. And that's what Batman looks like with his wingsuit. You're not married necessarily to it. So if you did want to decide for yourself just to display Batman just with his regular cape, just simply just detach these clips and just have it as a serviceable cape. The only thing, of course, by removing the clips and having the cape just freely flowing behind him is that you're going to see these clips. But you can kind of just tuck these behind. And then, you know, from the front, you're not going to probably see it as much. Well, if anything, you'll see more of the clips down below than the ones on the top. As for the figure itself, for a smaller geared, might I also mention, towards children, I think these are decently looking Batman figures. Now, I've really been a big fan of the Spin Master smaller four inch tall figures. I have to really kind of be in that mindset of thinking like as a kid, I not even as a grown kid myself, I think they're fun figures. They're fairly, fairly posable as well. This particular Batman, as you can see, there's his head sculpt right there. 
it's painted pretty good again for the sizing of what and the demographics really in which these toys are geared towards. He does have notably these gashes, these scratches across his torso. They've been all effectively done by using silver paint. He also has a couple of these also on his side legs as well. Um, the coloring on him is kind of more of a very, very dark, dark, I don't want to say black. It's almost, if anything, like a really dark gunmetal gray. And that works really well then to have things like his logo, the coloring of his cape, the gauntlets of his arms, his utility belts, and even the pocket on the side of his leg stand out more than just having it all the color of black. And of course, even in the film too, he's got more of a dark gray suit than he does have black. But yeah, a decent looking figure overall. Just flipping the cape up so you can see there's just as much work done to the back of his torso as there was also to the front of the figure's torso. For the figure's articulation, Batman's head rotates all the way around. It hinges slightly up, more so down. And yeah, you can rock it just a little bit, just a little bit back and forth. Uh, arms quite easily can come out to pull off a 90 degree angle bend. You can, of course, then take those arms, rotate them all the way around. Uh, the little parts to his cape do stick out a little bit past his shoulders. So while you are rotating his arm, you'll kind of notice it hits a little bit of a snag. Just sort of bend it more on an angle and it, it gets the job done. The figure does have a bend in the elbow, which also serves to rotate the lower forearm. And the figure also does have hand articulation. I think he does have. No, he actually doesn't have hand articulation. But basically, it's just the forearms. Uh, waist doesn't have any articulation, but then, again, at least the legs do split. And you get a full Van Damme splits. Three quarters of the way up the thigh, there's a swivel cut that rotates the leg all the way around. A single hinge on the knee also allows the lower leg to rotate. And there is no foot articulation. It's all basically molded to a continuation of the rest of his boot. Nice looking Batman, I have to say. Again, gearing it towards the kids, which is really what this line is geared towards. But, you know, still, for an older adult collector myself, I can definitely see the appeal in this line. Moving then our attention over to the Bat Cycle... They have certainly schlathered, dare I say the word schlathered, they have splattered a lot of muddy brown all over the wheels. So it does look like Batman's been driving this around. Maybe not on the city streets of Gotham, but maybe like the back wooded areas, muddy terrain more so. The wheels are freely spinning, and they spin quite well. The front of the cycle doesn't hinge back and forth, so there's no posability happening there. But one thing that's good, though, about it, and smart on their part, is they actually put like a servicing kickstand it helps stabilize and keep the, uh, the the cycle from falling over. If you did want to actually have it in a moving pose, because of course right now you're not going to be able to move much of anything, simply just take the bottom of the kickstand and just push it up. And then now you have a free rolling, easy to roll cycle. Of course, you're just going to have a little more difficult time balancing it if you want to put it on the shelf. Uh, that cycle has been nicely painted, not only just talking about the mud that they caked onto the tires, but... Overall, like even the side here where they've added some nice additional gunmetal gray, the seat's been painted in there as well. Nothing really been painted on like the inner console, like little readouts here on the tops of the cycle, but everything else really nicely done here on the bat cycle itself. And even to the point where they've actually painted the headlight too. Now, if you did want to put Batman onto the cycle, it's fairly easy. Just going to take the legs, bring the legs forward, bend the knees ever so slightly, bring the arms forward. This goes back to the old days of any kid that would have had a cycle with a rider. It works the exact same way. You're also going to want to twist the arms slightly, twisting them, of course, at the elbow area, fitting the one hand onto the handlebar, doing the exact same thing, of course, on the other side. You may also want to be able to bring Batman's head up so he can actually see where he's going and then just sort of compensate it with the legs on the sides. And there you got yourself a decent looking Batman on his bat cycle that you can Play, of course, if you are one that loves to play with your toys, you can have it rolling around maybe in your kitchen floor or whatever. And if certainly if you did want to display it more so, just simply just bring down the kickstand and then you've got yourself a nice little display piece until you're ready to play with it again. Now, again, this is an exclusive over at Walmart, the one wingsuit Batman that is. So if you are looking to pick this one up for yourself, Walmart is the place you will want to go, whether it be an actual brick and mortar store going inside of a store location, or you can probably also order this online where I've seen many other Spin Master Batman figures for their size. And certainly for the fact that it's a four inch tall Batman, I think it, again, gets the job done nicely. It's a poseable, well-painted Batman with an equally well-painted Bat Cycle. Really nice work on Spin Master's part. What I do like about Wingsuit Batman is that he doesn't always have to have that look. Simply just detach the clips that are provided on the ends of his cape from his wrists and from his ankles and easily revert the cape back to his normal flowing 
behind his torso look. This certainly comes better in handy as well if you want to have Batman riding around the Gotham City streets, as it certainly would be a little bit more cumbersome for Batman to be trying to ride his bat cycle with his wingsuit attached to his arms. Again, simply just attach it. And with you having a fully poseable Batman at your disposal, not only is he a fun little Batman to be playing around with with his two batarangs and grapple gun, but of course, because he's also articulate, it makes things a lot easier to mount him on top of his bat cycle, something that comes in clue with the figure. The bat cycle is just as well painted as the figure itself. I do really like that additional mud that they caked onto the tires. Maybe a lot more splattering than I really would have liked, but still I do appreciate the fact that they did put a little bit of wear and tear to those tires so it looks like batman's been riding off the beaten path it's a really nice release on the folks over at spin master again a big thank you though to this folks over at spin master that did provide the sample of the batman and bat cycle set that we could have a look at which again mentioned earlier and mentioned again is exclusive to walmart have you picked up any of the Batman figures from Spin Master? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you are new to this channel, and you're enjoying the content that you're seeing. Make sure, first of all, you're hitting that subscribe button down below. You're also as well turning on the bell notification. And you're also as well making sure that you're coming back. While we have wrapped up the reviews of the Batman and Bat Cycle, there will be other Spin Master Batman figure reviews coming your way in the not-so-distant future. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.